is it going and welcome back to Manifact here. In this episode, we're going to be looking at scaling up our production to meet the demands of the next science level by using some a little bit of redstone and a cool mod called capsules. So, if this is the first time you've seen this pack or this channel, have a look around. If you like what you see, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But let's get started. So you may notice there's a small difference in the factory now. Yep, that's right. We have removed the smelting setup. Yes, I've still got the rail moving around here, but I have taken out all the blast furnaces and moved them to the new Mushroom Island area. Pretty much in the same setup that we have here, except for, of course, slightly larger. And what I'm doing currently is I'm just unloading all the items and ores and coal that we had up there by sending it down here and into the rail system down below us. We still have a lot to move. Uh, but one of the things I do want to do is I want to start scaling things up. And over here we have various machines. We have one of these machines which makes copper cable. We have one of these machines that makes iron plates. We have another machine over there which makes iron gears. But it's all one. And that means that the production sometimes can be a little bit slow. Especially when we're making, we've got, especially when we've got such a very large smelting array now, we can process things much faster and it means that later on, we'll be able to get better out of it. But there are some things we're going to have to do in order to prevent, in order to prevent things like the belts backing up or making sure that we're only keeping a certain amount on hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump us over to the safe house area and we'll do some research so we can unlock some of the items we're going to need for this episode. So if we have a look in the quest book here, uh, I said in the last episode I have upgraded the pack, but we're going to just continue on the old quest line for the moment. So if we go into here, there is the redstone wine. If we go into here, it just takes 100 and 100, and this is going to unlock the redstone wire from immersive engineering. Okay. Uh, so we're going to detect and just submit on that. And what that should let us do, actually let's have a quick say a 13 so let's go a 13 that'll unlock okay uh the redstone wire connector which we electrum some redstone and some hardened stone that's not too hard to get also does this guy here uh we need to nether nether quartz that's not too hard i suppose uh, and a redstone wire connector, so we're going to need a few of those, although it makes four. Shouldn't be too hard. And the glass, and we'll also need uh, some wire coil, which once again is pretty easy. It just needs this aluminum wire, uh, which is an aluminum plate in a press. Is there another way of doing this? Meal former? Okay, so we're going to use a meal former to do that. Nice. Okay. So, what we're going to do is a uh, grab over. Electric ingots, cool. Uh, we're going to throw that into our inventory just to make up some nuggets. We probably don't need that many. Throw that over there. Go back into here, and we we're going to make this guy up, which is a little bit of hardened stone, and that should make. What are we missing? Hardened stone? Yep. No. It's hardened stone there. We keep forgetting to put the stuff on there, so there's, let's just make a few of those, because we're going to need a few for what I'm actually planning on doing with this, so we'll make a couple now, uh, we also want to make one of these guys, which is going to require some stone, some nether quartz, and some redstone torches, oh well, that's pretty easy, uh, we're going to need three of those, it's a pretty standard recipe I suppose, um, let's make... Six and we're in a sticks. Cool. <laughs> Not helpful. Uh, do I have any more sticks? I think I've got some sticks around here somewhere. Probably need a stick. Look at that. Right. So we'll go over here, and I think I need some stone, which I think is this one. There it is. Cool. Go over here, and we can put the sticks back into here. Just gonna keep keep making some more torches. 
really know how many I'm going to need. Probably quite a few. Um, we'll take out probably this guy for the moment. We were going to make one of these guys, which is one of those guys. I needed nether quartz. Did I pick up any nether quartz? I think I did, didn't I? There'll be some nether quartz around here somewhere. Okay, not in there. I'm sure we picked up some nether quartz when I was in the nether. Um, sure I picked up some. Um, oh, here it is. Then I picked up some. Right, so let's jump over here. So we need the nether quartz. Um, which we're going to put into here. Apparently, it's another recipe, which is not. Uh, we needed the stone as well. Grab ourselves a couple of those. It's probably enough. Uh, into here, we will need uh, some circuits, which we've got there. I'm going to need those guys. We don't need the stone anymore. Uh, glass. We're always needing glass. I saw some glass panes before. Glass panes. Put those up there. Not enough. What are we missing? So we've got glass panes. We've got... Ah, oh, we need the connectors. That's cool. I could put those there. Cool. There's two, three... So those are our, are our probes, grab some of those, and of course we'll need some wire as well, which is a little bit of aluminum, aluminum wire, aluminium, depending on how you want to pronounce it, um, which of course is going to be needed in a metal former or a basic assembler. Uh, I don't think we've got any other ways of making it at the moment, so we're going to have to go for the metal former, grab ourselves some aluminum. Probably for testing purposes, I could probably do a six, and we'll let the rest return. So we will head, uh, well, we could probably do it here, can't we? Do I have any redstone on me, though? I do. Cool. Okay, so, as an example, this nice area here, which we're going to move things out of, but we're going to place this down there. All right, so we have our redstone dot, and we can grab our wire connector, and place it work there will and of course it turns into a piece of redstone and the thing about these ones here is you can use them with various different colors so if we grab uh, this guy you can see it's channel white and it's input if we want to make this output and then output something there and we can throw another redstone wire connector on something um What is going to go as a signal? I, do I have a lever on me? I have some stone, but no sticks. <laughs> of course. Let's go grab something for up there. Okay, so I grabbed a lever, because that's always helpful. And I also made up some uh, redstone wire, because I've, I've forgotten to make that. Came down here, started recording with... Ah, oh, I forgot to make that. So, we made that up. I'm going to place that there. And we can now put a connector on the lever, hopefully. And if I switch that on, can you see it change? No. Okay. Well, that's alright. We'll put that, connect that to there. So we'll make like all the power cables. And you can see that it's default state. This is on input, channel white. And then it's on output, channel white. Now, of course, we can also change the channels. So we can change that to input. Um, I believe it's, yeah. So if you sneak and then right click, it'll change the color. So if we now set that to on, because that is a magenta color, it's not doing it here. But if we were to say, change that to magenta, you can see that it now triggers. Quite helpful. Now I also believe that in here, we also unlock the alloy wire. So if we look here, to make that we need some, co uh, some copper wire and some redstone coil. Uh, and what was that in, sorry? That was the... Basic assembler, cool, we can, actually, just the basic assembler. 
I don't have a basic assembler though. I've only got a standard assembler. Well, that's going to make things a little more complicated. I wonder if I can steal one of these guys. Of course, I've taken all the smelting off, so that means that we don't have anything being produced around here. Um, in fact, I might even make the the alloy wire up. It's it's not too hard a recipe, and I'll come back in a moment. Okay, so we'll add some of the white insulated wire into there. Now, one thing I've just found out is you have to make the white insulated before you can make the coloured. So we have to have the industrial hemp fibre here because these other ones, they've only got the option of using dyes. Uh, but that's fine. So we'll put them into there with some cactus green. And that'll make us some green. And we'll also use some rose red, which will make us some red. So... What we're going to do with this stuff, of course, I don't know why we've got lead oil in, or oil in I think I ran into something. So, of course, if we put that here, you've probably seen, seen me use this in the Myrel pack. Is that... You've probably seen this in the Myrel pack where we have the um, insulated wire being used in place. We've got some more redstone there. We'll throw that over here. And, of course, when that is on, it'll be using that. Of course, this is actually coloured stuff. And we could do the same with the green stuff. And, of course, on and off we'll do that. And it also works over here. So if we would take this guy off. And, oh, and, of course, it takes the whole thing away. Let's grab that and stick it there. We'll grab a connector and stick it onto there. That's not what I wanted to happen. One thing I have noticed with the update is there is a lot more mobs. A lot more mobs. Yeah. Very, very mobby. Um, why won't that go onto the side of it? There we go. And we will grab some of that and some of that we're going to have to reset this up as a output and right click again put in the magenta and you can see the colors on we will put some a redstone there and you'll see it's now on go over here turn off okay so what this is let's do is we can run these between buildings so if we wanted to we could run a whole bunch from let's say a chest or something else we can run this from a chest, and it would give us the ability to take a signal. In fact, let's do that. I think I've got a chest on me. We do. So we're going to maybe put that... We'll take this guy up. Let's put it over here, maybe. So we've got a chest there. We can take that out. Uh, I'll also take out the one that's up here. I don't need that one. I'll leave that there for the moment. Uh, we can go in to the comparator thingy. There it is, this one. Put a probe connector on there, and it looks a bit odd. But it lets us connect this guy to maybe there. Um, I Probably, yeah, we could, we should probably. And this guy also has the same thing. So you can see it's receiving white and sending white. So you can actually have it receiving one signal and then putting that into the chest and then sending another chest out, uh, another color out. Uh, so if we send it orange, which is no, not orange, we send it magenta. Uh, we could probably. Grab some of that oh, glass. Is that going to work? No. Okay. We might have to take this guy here out. Which, of course, we'll take that off. <laughs> ah, joy. Um, we'll connect this up again, though. That's the connector. Where is our... That guy. We'll stick that here. No. Here. Grab the wire to go between the two. Run 
there and the one there. So now we're going from here to here and to here. We will need to set, of course, this guy to be a channel on magenta. And it will now be an output, whereas this guy will be a input. Which I don't know if that matters for transporting it, but we'll set it anyway. And then this works much like a comparator. So if we were to say go into here and stick 24 redstone in there, you can see it's now outputting a signal of 1. So you can see it in the way there at the top, outputs a signal of 1. If we were to put in some more stuff, it will now be outputting a signal 1. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Uh, let's put some more stuff in here so it's fully utilized. Right here. And now we've got a power of, of 3. So it works very much like read, normal redstone in that you can read a chest's input as an input. So what he was in the chest. And depending on how full this is will depend on the amount of power that it gives out. So that's part of what we're going to be using as our design. The other thing, if we go into Factory Basic, one of the things that was added in our previous uh, update were the capsules. Now what capsules that you do is they are like blueprints in Factorio, where you can copy a machine setup and make it into a blueprint. Uh, to get this one here, we're going to need a capture base, but let's head back up and we can set that guy up. So, we need to make one of these here, which of course is a compass, which is pretty easy to make. In fact, let's look for that here. Uh, it's under capsules, I believe. Probably the quickest way to look for it. So, capture base. We will need a compass. Uh, we'll put that into there. Oh, I'm getting so many items in this area. Uh, we'll also need a powered lantern, which there should be at least a couple over here still. Yes, there are. Cool. One of those. Back into here and should have everything else we need yes no ah cobblestone cobble 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 need some cobblestone for there and we also need to put power lantern there so much stuff into there and then we've got enough no what are we missing now so we're missing the compass no we've got glass it's the glass we're missing put that into there and we'll take one of those so the catch base is pretty cool by itself because that's the main thing that lets you take the blueprint. And we also are gonna need to make some other things. But if we go into here, do I have enough inventory space or is that gonna drop on on the floor? No, I think I've got enough inventory space for that just. Yes? No? No, nope, we have to claim it. Let's just get rid of some of the junk I'm carrying. Um Uh, let's throw maybe the coal into here. Probably enough for now. Don't know why I've got so much lead and stuff on me. Hopefully the wires take care of that guy. You hear it building or breaking stuff. The cool thing is though that they actually, if they come up the hill here, they get taken out by the wires over here. Um, so that helps a little bit with our defences, um, but yeah, it's super creepy. In fact, that one sounds like it's not even being attacked. That's a concern. Yeah, okay, well, we'll continue on. Uh, so we're going to need to make one of those. We're going to also need to make one of these capsules things. So they actually gave us a capsule, I think. So if we go into here, we can claim that. It was an empty one, uh, which will be this guy here. But we can also make them. They're not overly hard. They're actually on the final page here. Bit of iron and a chest. Which, of course, I just made a chest, which makes it nice and easy. So we're supposed to go into here. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. That one. Put that into there. Uh, we will need the chest that I made earlier. Bit of iron and a button. I forgot the button. Right, we've got some stone. That's a piece of stone. Some button. Put that into there. Take out an empty capsule. Pretty easy. And on top of that, you can make them different sizes. So we've got 3x3, 5x5, 7x7, 9x9. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> and it goes right all the way up to 11x11. So it's quite a large area that you can blueprint. 
And on top of that, we've got the blueprints themselves. So a blueprint will we'll need an unlabeled capsule, which we'll get to in a second when we use this guy. Uh, a bit of lapis and another stone button and some paper. And then it'll make a re reusable blueprint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of these a metal form of blueprints up and all the stuff we may need to make a metal form of. Head over to the, the Mushroom Island area and we'll have a look at what's what's changed and then we'll go through how I'm planning on using these to expand our metal press system. So I'll catch you in a moment. So just quickly, I've been standing here and I was thinking, should I take this work table out? And then I've remembered that there's actually, in the factory basics here, the additional work table has been added in. So now we've got multiple work tables, which means we can actually get another work table with just some research, which will make it a lot easier because you know I don't have to travel from here to the, the Mushroom Island, and then from the Mushroom Island back whenever we need stuff, I can just craft it on site, which will be a lot more helpful. So let's claim that. Uh, we can now exit out of here. That should give us hopefully a work table. There it is. Look at that. Cool. And hopefully I've got everything else I need. There's a lot of stuff here. I'm really hoping I haven't forgotten anything. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run over to the Mushroom Island and we'll take a look at the next step. Okay, so we're here at the Mushroom Island. We've got an unloading station here. You can see it's just a couple of block signals. Uh, there is a chain signal over there, so the train, the carts will come in, they'll sit there until there is a free space. Currently, of course, there's only two. There's the coal and the um, ores, which are coming from the old smelting area. Then they go off this way into a, another train signal, which is looking for over there. Now, you can see here, these two stations actually have the same name. Which means that the carts can come in and choose either path. It doesn't really matter which path they choose. And then... Once they hit here, they'll be fine to continue on. Uh, now the car helpers are set to unload. In fact, let's have a quick look. So these are set to cart empty and the cart inventory. They unload down into these item rollers, which come up to here. Which is, as you can see, as I said, smelting area. A few more than we had in the previous setup. But we've still got quite a few here. Got belts taking the items out, they will take them over to the end of here. I haven't actually got a station, I like this, I just realised. Um, and I also want to put an enclosure around, so that's why we've got the blue concrete here. But you can hopefully see from this blue concrete, what I'm doing, or what I'm planning on doing, is having an enclosure for each of the areas. And of course this here will just be a very large area. I am going to have to work on some pollution control, because not that bad up there, right? But if we head up here anyway, you can see they set up here. We've got the two minecarts, just like we did at the other one. This one here, I think, is coal. Yep. And this one here will be ores. Currently, it hasn't got anything up because we've got them stopped. But we've got our ore layout, just like we had in the other one. These are all set to cart full, uh, so they load up. And we've also got these single spot chests. Uh, and this one here, unlike in the other one where we had, a, I think it was basic bins, I've changed a single spot, so we're only holding one stack of coal in each of them. So there's one there, there is another one here, and another one in there. So these, of course, are loading up the engine. But if we let these guys go, then they can start collecting stuff. So we'll just give that a little push. Same single layout. Train will hit off, or the cart will hit off this way. They'll actually load up, of course, here, which won't take very long, and it heads off, goes around there, gets some coal, and then it'll go off and unload its stuff into each of those guys, and you can see there's the uh, the great use of <laughs> the pollution starting up, uh, and we'll also send this guy on its way, same type of thing, it'll go along here, it'll pick up what's in this chest here, don't, no, oh, just stop. Going on, it seems to have just. Oh, yeah, see, it's still loading stuff up. There's just such a backlog of coal down at the mine carts below, and it's so quick to load the stuff up by the item brothers that it's already taken all the stuff out there, and it's actually not even ready to finish yet. Uh, this guy should just about be empty. Yep, so all those guys there are now smelting up, and of course, there we're sending items back. You can see that the slag is heading along here, and you can see all the copper and other items are just going over there. I'm going to have to go pick those up. But, 
And that's what we've done so far. Uh, and it's, it's quite a big area. I have spent a little more time and killed off another part of the mountain that was over there. But you can see the track goes along here, turns off this way. And hopefully it's going to look quite cool. It does look really cool at night when there aren't mobs around trying to chase you around. So I've run out of time. We will have to scale up the buildings in the next episode. So if you've enjoyed this video or found anything of use, please do leave a like. But otherwise, have a great day. And... See ya!